Hey guys, this is Jen. I just got back from a trip to California to visit my sister in Southern California. She actually lives in Huntington Beach. And so we did a little bit of shopping. So I wanted to share with you a few things that I picked up while I went out and about around SoCal. So to start off, I wanted to share a few things I got at Mitsua. If you've never heard of Mitsua, it's an Asian grocery store type of place and they usually have one or two little aisles of beauty products. So whenever I hit one up, which there's only I think three locations in the US, so whenever I see one, I kind of try to stock up on some things that are a little bit more difficult to get in stores versus just ordering them online. I will start off with, this is DHC Deep Cleansing Oil. And last time I went to Mitsua, I got the smaller travel size one just to try it out because I didn't want to spend a lot of money in case I didn't like it. But I do love this so much. It's my everyday makeup removing cleanser um, anytime I'm wearing foundation because it's a one-step thing. Sometimes when you just wash your face with face wash and then you dry your face on the towel, you'll see some foundation and stuff on the towel. And I really don't like that feeling. I don't like feeling like there's any makeup left on my skin before I go to bed at night. So with the cleansing oil, it really removes all of the last traces of makeup and everything. I absolutely love it. It takes off waterproof eye makeup. It takes off foundation, waterproof anything you have on your face. It's really, really good removing. So if you haven't tried this, I highly recommend it. The base is olive oil actually, so it's actually quite good for your skin. Another thing I picked up, I have the Juju Aqua Moist Hyaluronic Acid and I really like that so I wanted to try out their cleansing milk. I can't read any of this. I believe it's Japanese, um, but it's by Juju Cosmetics and it says moisture milk. I think it's in Japanese. This is something that you apply to your skin after you wash your face and before you put on moisturizer and it just gives you an extra little level of moisture. So I'm excited to try this out. So another item I picked up is actually an eyelid tape sort of item. It's um, called AB Mesical Fiber and basically it's a string type of eyelid tape which if you haven't heard of eyelid tape before it's something that helps monolitters to get a double eyelid or for double litters to adjust where their crease is. And because my eyes have been very, very uneven, like pretty much more often than not lately, I thought I would try this out and see if it would even out my crease. And I don't know, it's like not even right now. So it's times like this where I would love to try out something like this to see if it will be you know, hidden enough that people won't be able to notice it, but enough that it'll even out my crease. Another item that I'm really looking forward to using is this face scrubbing thingy. It's like a silicone pad with little massaging nubby bits that sort of help to gently cleanse your skin. It's supposed to help also like relieve blackheads and big pores and stuff like that, so. I'm going to try this out on my skin and see if it makes a difference other than just using my hands. So, no <laughs> so another item I picked up was a pack of these eyebrow razors. And I usually use eyebrow razors on myself, but while I was in California, I wanted to reshape my sister's brows, so I picked up this pack from Mitsua. And I didn't anticipate this, but this razor is huge. The one I have is maybe not even half this size. So that was a little bit challenging. I think I would probably recommend the smaller one over this particular one. But it still does the job. You just have to be a little more careful when you're using it. And basically what I use this for is if you have like longer hairs that are peeking outside of the line of your eyebrow, you can just take this and like just shave it off. So then it's nice and clean. They're really easy to use. Like I said, um, eyebrow razors in general are really nice and handy to have around. I would probably go for one with a smaller tip just for safety reasons. This one's easy to nick yourself with. So the last item I picked up from Mitsua is actually something I bought for my mom. My mom is suffering from really dry skin lately. Um, I think it's partially due to the weather of course since it's quite dry and cold here right now. And it's also because of her age, you know, postmenopausal women go through some dryness in their skin and it's really difficult to combat with just lotion. So 
I bought this baby foot easy pack, which is kind of creepy sounding. And the pictures were even creepier. It shows a, a pair of feet and there is a whole layer of skin literally peeling off the foot, which sounds absolutely freakish and disgusting. But I'm hoping that if my mom tries this and uses it and she has a younger, newer, softer skin revealed underneath, and then the moisture will be able to penetrate better. I'm really hoping this was actually quite pricey. I think it was about 20 bucks or something. So I hope it works for her. <laughs> I don't know. It might be one of those gimmicky things, but I'm going to have her try it out and I guess I'll let you guys know. <laughs> so another store I stopped by while I was in California is actually Inglot. So I didn't even know there was an Inglot in California, but apparently there's one in Fashion Island. So that's the one that I stopped into. It's a palette, or a nice big mirror on top. The girls said that they are actually discontinuing this palette, but I thought that it's a perfect size for travel because look how thin it is. And it's hard case, so it's like pretty sturdy. It's basically a magnetic palette, which is similar to like the Z palette or other similar ones like uh, the Uni palette, but it's quite thin. And you can also buy this little piece that goes inside it. Again, she said these are getting discontinued, so if you want something like this, I would go to an Inglot store sooner than later. I'm not even sure if it's selling on the website, but there's a magnet at the bottom. Basically, it just fits inside here, and it's pretty customizable for what you want to put inside. Right now, I have one Inglot blush. I also have an Inglot eyeshadow, but if you see the space here, you could put two Inglot blushes in here or four eyeshadows or put two eyeshadows here and down here these actually fit the circular Inglot pans which I think they're actually getting rid of those which might be one of the reasons they're getting rid of this palette as well but this also perfectly fits MAC eyeshadows so if you have MAC shadows or the NYX 3 pan eyeshadow palettes those pans actually fit in here really well. What I have in here right now is actually a Wet n Wild shadow that I depotted and put into a freestanding pan that I had. And it just fits in there really, really well. So what I was planning on doing was having this blush put in four eyeshadows and another three down here and just use this for when I travel. I thought it would be really handy. Or, like I said, you can remove this and you can fit a lot of individual products in here however you want. But the eyeshadow I picked up is number Eyeshadow Pearl 395. This is just a really pretty, like, pearly highlight color. It's slightly golden. And then this blush is blush 28, LK14CS. That's just a nice neutral pink color. I wanted to get something kind of similar to my Tarte Exposed. This one I think is slightly more um, plummy pink and Exposed is a little bit more neutral brownie pink but it's still a really great neutral very pigmented matte blush color so it works quite well for every day. I believe this was only like five bucks and then the little spacer inside is only a dollar so it's quite affordable. I also picked up a few accessories while I was shopping here and there. I went to H&M and found these really, really cute, adorable bow hair ties. I've been so into rose gold metal lately and I don't know, I just really like the idea of having a little like low ponytail and having a little metal bow on it. So this set of two was only $3.95 from H&M. And then also from H&M I bought this bracelet which it's sort of a reddish snake skin color. I saw Christine X Tina have a black bracelet like this when we went to Paris and I super fell in love with it so I was looking for something similar. I really like this however I think the one I got was kind of defective and this one does not stay magnetized so I'm probably gonna have to see if I can return or exchange this. I like the whole bracelet stacking idea so I picked that up. I also picked up another bracelet. This one's actually a watch strap bracelet. I got this from J. Crew. It was actually in a little clearance tube. I really like the bronzy metallic color because I just think it'll kind of match with everything. And it's small enough that it'll fit on my tiny, tiny wrists. 
So I'm sure it can accommodate a large range of sizes, but this was actually only $3.50 because it was marked as seven and it was 50% off of everything on sale. So I think I got a pretty good deal. I was shopping around actually with Wendy from Wendy's Lookbook and Kelly of Alterations Needed. We met up at South Coast Plaza and I kind of made a little bit of a splurge purchase there. Um, this is something that I have been eyeing for such a long time. I've been looking for a a really nice sturdy travel tote that I can take with me on airplanes and will be able to fit my laptop and everything and isn't too heavy because the bags I've been carrying lately oh my goodness it's such a pain in the butt traveling through airports by myself I'm not a very big person and so I hate carrying gigantic bags that just kill my shoulders as much as I've looked high and low for a good nylon bag that fits all of my requirements I just keep coming back to this one. This is the Longchamp Le Pliage. The really cool thing about this, as you can see, it looks really tiny, right? That's because it folds out. So here is the bag, and I was immediately drawn to the pink one, which I haven't actually seen anywhere else. I actually went into the Longchamp store in South Coast Plaza and bought this. So. I was glancing at the navy blue one and the black one because my friends have those and they're such classy ladies, but I don't know, my heart kind of goes to the pink and when I picked this up, um, all of my girlfriends were like, oh yeah, the pink is so you. And then it didn't help that the sales assistant came over and he's like, oh yeah, that's a limited edition color and I was like, ooh, <laughs> I don't know, I couldn't help myself. So I have been absolutely in love with this bag ever since I bought it. It perfectly fits my 15 inch MacBook. So if you were wondering about if your laptop will fit, it does fit a like widescreen 15 inch laptop. But you just fold this in and then fold the bottom up and you can totally stow it away just like that. Like it folds up pretty tiny so you could just throw this into another purse when you're traveling when you're not using it and then if you have more luggage to bring back you can open this up and carry whatever you need. So it's super handy, it's kind of pricey, like way pricier than I would ever think to pay myself for something made out of nylon but I don't know, when I, when I was really searching around for this kind of thing and feeling the different materials and really being picky about it I, I just think there's a difference in quality and I know I'll use this forever and ever. It's going to be a workhorse bag. So far I absolutely love it. I used it on the way back and I just think it's perfect. Not to mention when I was in Paris, seriously, like every other person was carrying a long shop. So I don't know. It kind of makes me a little bit nostalgic about visiting there too. So that's something else that I'm obsessed with that I picked up. And then finally I wanted to share with you a couple of shoes that I actually picked up from Nordstrom Rack. Let me tell you, the Nordstrom Rack that's like across the street from South Coast Plaza, way cooler than the Nordstrom Rack I have at my house. I wear the size 4 shoes and at mine, I think I saw one pair of shoes that were even a size 4 and they were like two sizes too big for me. So this Nordstrom Rack actually had an entire section of fours and it was just, I don't know, it was heavenly to just even have that, that many choices because I never, never do. So I picked up two pairs. The first one, don't judge me, but these are actually Crocs, but you can't tell, okay? So these were only like, I think $16. They have the Croc kind of material inside, so they're super lightweight and everything, but the toe is kind of like one of those house slipper loafers. Like when you put it on, it's actually really quite cute. The outside material is flocked, which means that it has sort of that velvety material. I'm not kidding. When you put these on, they're actually really, really cute and classy. So that's mainly why I picked it up. Not because they're Crocs, um, but I've always been a little bit curious to how Crocs would feel because I've never owned anything like that because I kind of refuse to wear Crocs, but guess we all eat our words sometimes. It's a little bit different, plus it was a style I've been looking for, these little like slipper loafer kind of shoes. And then finally, this is probably, other than the Longchamp bag, my other favorite purchase of my trip. So I went to look at these at Nordstrom Rack and I literally 
kept thinking about them the whole week. So I did go back on my last day of California to pick these up because it's kind of one of those things like I hate buyer's remorse. So if I try it on and then I leave it for a while and I cannot stop thinking about it, I know I won't regret it going back and buying them. So these are some Tory Burch boots. And what I love about them is the toe area is kind of more of a moccasin shape and also the calf isn't too big. So when I wear it, it doesn't look too wide. Um, I have a really difficult time with that because I have really kind of stickly calves and it looks really silly if I wear like gigantic boots over them. Literally when I was trying it on in the store, there was a lady that came up to me and she was like, I just wanted to tell you, I was going to say this to you earlier, but you ran off too quickly, but I just love those boots on you. And then so when you, when you hear something like that, you're like, oh, I know it's reconfirming my thoughts I already had. I fell in love with these. They are Tory Burch. Even at Nordstrom Rack, though, that's like really expensive for me. But at the same time, I know just like the Longchamp bag, these are going to be like workhorse shoes. I'm going to wear the guts out of them. And they're way cuter than Uggs. My little gray Uggs are really kind of starting to fall apart after having them for about two or three years. So I figured it was time for an upgrade. Plus these are a lot taller. So it keeps my legs warm, which is maybe not necessary in Southern California, but definitely a necessity in the Midwest. So I picked these up and they are fleece lined. So they're super, super warm. The inside basically feels like you're walking on marshmallows. Really warm marshmallows that are hugging your feet. So I guess that's the end of my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Maybe, um, I'm not sure if I have enough vloggy footage to put together, but maybe I'll try to throw in a few clips together and post it fairly soon. So you guys can look forward to that, and I guess I will talk to you guys later. Bye!